Johnny. Uh, welcome to Ireland. Obviously, you were here um, a few months ago watching the, the last set of fights. Do you feel like that was a good preparation for fighting here yourself on Saturday night? Yeah, sure. Uh, I really like three arena, everything. The fuck, bro? <laughs> All right. Let me restart that. Uh, yeah, Dublin's a great city. Really enjoyed my time the last time I was here. Got to watch my boy Amosov defend his title. Um, and, you know, it was a great performance. Um, really loved the crowd, the energy, um, everything about Three Arena and, and the Irish people, man. I, I just really dig it. And, I'm, you know, it's, it's an honor to uh, fight in that arena and in front of that crowd. I saw you were uh, traveling around Ireland a bit this week. You went down to Tipperary. Was that good to, to kind of travel around and, and see a bit more of the country? Yeah, man. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I haven't seen, and when I when I have a chance and I can uh, travel a bit and, and see some things that I haven't seen before, uh, I try to take the chance to do it. Obviously, a lot of people spoke after your last few fights about you possibly being the best middleweight in the world. Now that Adesanya has obviously lost two of his last three fights, if I was to ask you straight up, the, like I asked you at the time, you said you thought you are now you must think you are by far and away the best middleweight in the world. I believe I'm one of the best middleweights in the world, if not the best. Obviously, I can't take any, anything away from my boy, Sean. I'm like very, very happy for him. Um, I was like messing with my team, saying, like, this is the champion we deserve. Like, I, I like Sean, and I like how he conducts himself. Even though he's a bit crazy, he's himself and very authentic. And, you know, there, there's a lot to be said about authentic people nowadays. I feel like a lot of people put up an act, and it's not really them. So... Uh, yeah, man, just shout out to that guy. I trained with him a lot. Um, he made me better. Hopefully I made him better. I think I did. Um, yeah, man, uh, happy for him. Is that sparring heavy style that he seems to have in preparation something you like to do too, or is it something you maybe learn from him to do or to not to do possibly? I love sparring, man. I spar a lot. I spar probably the most in our gym. Um, even when I'm out of camp, I'm getting like nine rounds. Uh, that's a nine to ten rounds. Um, obviously in camp, um, I'm, I'm kind of shortening it up, trying to stay healthy, and I do five rounds, but usually with two fresh partners, and I really push myself. So, uh, yeah, man, I, I, I love to fight. I like being in the fire. I like competing. I like getting better at uh, MMA, and the only way to get better at MMA is sparring. Your opponent, Fabian, obviously you come from a gym that's known for having champions, um, and obviously you yourself being one, but Fabian as well, obviously with his brother, uh, now has that championship medal, I suppose, in training with him. Do you think that is something for him that uh, is, is really helpful for his game, as it's been helpful for yours, and have you seen kind of his progression maybe since Leon has even become champion? Are you, are you asking, like, uh, you like think he's progressing better because his brother has gotten yeah. the championship? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. I mean, his, his brother's a great fighter. I mean, he's a great fighter, but I just think I'm better. What do you see in Fabian that maybe could cause you a few issues? He's fast, athletic, good left hand, southpaw, has a good uh, few tricks, um, tries to set you up with stuff, but he ain't going to give me, man. I'm, I'm too slick, too good. I, I put pressure on people. I break them. I'm going to rearrange his face with my fist, man. That's what I'm going to do Saturday night. I see, like... We see a lot of your fights, and you, you know, a lot of wrestle-heavy fights. But your hands have been really good over the last few fights as well. And maybe people don't, you know, recognize or admit that uh, about your style. Do you feel like against Fabian that if it does turn into like a stand-up matchup, that you can, um, you know, you can do well there as well? Yeah, I'm not worried if it's a stand-up matchup. Uh, during this camp, I got to train with Artem Levin, and he's a six-time world champion kickboxer from Russia, and he's a killer. He actually beat Alex Pereira, and that's one of my main training partners for this camp. And I stand and bang with him, man. I stand and bang with Sean Strickland. He's the best, one of the best in the world, just like me. Uh, right now, the UFC champion. Um, just if you see the people I train with and how I how I can hang with them and even beat them at times, like you would, like I don't doubt myself if there's a stand-up fight. Hi, Johnny. Uh, we spoke last time at the Eiffel Tower in France. It's for the French people. Um, you told me last time. Uh, oh, Pereira and Adesanya can be easy matchup for you. We are a couple months later, and uh, one of them is not even in the middleweight category and um, division, and the other one loses belt. Um, what's happened this last month? Com confirm, confirm what you, you told me a few months ago. Can we say that you're the most consistent middleweight in the world today? Uh, sorry, I couldn't catch the end of that question. Um, I, so are you the, the most consistent middleweight today? Um, especially with what happened in the middleweight division? In I would say, yeah, as of now, I, I'm the most consistent champion. Um, 
Yeah, for now. I mean, I only have uh, one title defense, so we got to see where, where we go from here. You know, I, I just recently got the belt, so um, let's just let history re uh, play out, and then we'll see where it goes, you know? Thank you very much. Yep, no problem. Hi, Johnny. Um, so uh, what, you're fighting away from home now. Uh, does that add any magnitude to the occasion, basically, for you? No real magnitude, just different. It's it's not what I'm used to, but that's what I like. I like to put myself in different situations because things aren't always going to be the same. So it's just a different challenge, and I'm willing to face it and take it head on. Well, because you're undefeated and on, on this winning streak as well, I was going to ask you like what excites you. Like how do you stay excited, and how do you set new milestones for yourself? I'm just not done, man. I got a lot of things I want to accomplish, and this is just one step in the right direction. Um, I have a lot of things I want to get better at, especially when it comes to my performances in the cage. And also, there's, uh, there's more money to be made. There's more wins to, to, to have. And there's a lot of competition out there that I want to beat. So, yeah, I'm far from over. And uh, you're training at a super gym, ATT. And now there's, the gap is being closed between the super gyms, like a lot of these big gyms and the other ones. Uh, what is something that ATT has that other super gyms don't have? Man, ATT is just very consistent. Um, it's it's just a mecca. Like when you go to the gym, it's impressive. Like the mat space, the cage. They they have two cages. We got a whole striking area, a weightlifting area. It's just Dan Lambert has put together a really really great gym, and they're consistent because you have consistent coaches. You have a lot of consistent fighters in there. Some are year uh, there year around. Some come in when they have fights, but it's the consistency at the end of the day. Um, like, for instance, uh, Kill Cliff used to be Sanford, which used to be Black Zillions. They're, they're moving over a lot. Um, a lot of these other gyms, uh, they don't have, like, the mecca like ATT does. And uh, maybe their gyms aren't as impressive. But not to take anything away from those gyms. I'm just saying ATT is, like, it, I think it's the best gym in the world, man. And one of those people with you is Dustin Poirier right now. <laughs> um, what's he adding to this camp for you? And what are you adding to his game? Man, we, we just like to get in there and beat each other up a little bit, man. We, we, we like to spar. Uh, he's a good southpaw look for me, and I, I like to pick up some of his tricks. There's some things in fights that I, that I execute now that he does. Um, I, honestly, I look up to the guy. He's a great person, uh, a great father, um, just all around a great human being, and, and I, I, I just, I'm happy that I'm like friends with him and I get to train with him and, and learn from him because um, he his, his record and the people he's beat is, is, is unmatched. You know, it's pretty pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, happy to be teammates with him. Did you, did you corner Kayla Rocco as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We sponsored yeah. her. K-Rock. So yeah. give her, let's give her a shout out. What do you think of her? Yeah, K-Rock's awesome, man. She's always in the gym, always working. She's kind of similar to me. I'm always in the gym working. You always got to tell tell that girl to get out of the gym and heal up and, you know, not, not to push herself too much. Um, but yeah, I think she has a bright future ahead of her. Um, she's game. Yeah. She'll fight anybody, almost gets her in trouble sometimes, but she'll fight people outside of her weight class. But, yeah, shout out to K-Rock. Awesome. Hey, good luck. Thanks. Any more questions? One online here, uh, Patrick. Hey, Johnny. Uh, I was wondering, when you faced off with uh, Fabian, there, it was very heated. Is there any animosity between you two going into this matchup now? Yeah, I just don't like his face. I don't know, something about it. I just want to rearrange it with my fists and beat the shit out of him. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, he's just on my hit list now because he's the next guy in line. I just don't like the way he carries himself. I don't know, it's weird energy. I'm just going to beat it out of him. And uh, adjusting to the time difference, your first time fighting in Europe, but you did make a few trips to Europe, you know, just like where the Fabian face-off was. How thankful are you for having made those trips and – any tricks you learned on those trips that you're, you've used this week? Yeah, you just got to get out there early, um, get used to the time change, kind of push through the first day. If you don't, like, uh, you don't sleep very good on the plane if it's overnight, so I just push through the first day and then uh, adapt from there. And basically I'm on, on the time schedule out here now, and uh, I feel good. Thank you. Santiago. Hi, Johnny. Thank you for the time. Sabah Homasi and Roman Ferraldo are also on this card. And, and J.J. This Wilson. J.J. Wilson, too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about him. And you know, Don't forget about J.J. Wilson, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but getting back to Sabah, he's a little bit newer in the gym, by the way. That's why I forgot about him. But getting back to Sabah and Roman, this is both 
for both of them their bounce back fight they had a tough last outing does it feel good for them to have you the undefeated champ with them this time man it's great to have teammates especially those two great energy great training partners uh they're good friends of mine man so we're just out here on a business trip and having fun and enjoying every moment of it and then you know johnny in the beginning of your bellator career it was a little bit tough getting ranked opponents, even though you were ranked. But then after the Salter fight, boom, it quickly, you know, it, it went like a rocket ship. How, how was that time for you to see that, you know, in the beginning you had to work your way up, but then after a while it went all really fast and Bellator really went behind you, you know? Yeah, man, it's just kind of how my life has played out. I've always had to work hard for, for things I deserve, and I'm going to continue to work hard because I feel like I, there's a lot more for me to accomplish. So... Um, you know, I'm still taking flight. I'm still going up. My stock's still rising. Cannot wait to see you perform again. Good luck on fight night, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.